Hi, and welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. Today, we're diving into the world of cybersecurity and talking about one of the most important initiatives in securing web applications OWASP, or the Open Web Application Security Project. If you're a developer, IT professional, or anyone interested in securing web applications, this video is for you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more tutorials on security and tech. Let's get started. 1. Introduction to OWASP First, let's talk about what OWASP is. OWASP stands for the Open Web Application Security Project. It's a worldwide non-profit organization that focuses on improving the security of software. The best part? OWASP offers open-source tools and resources that are free to use for anyone, regardless of their expertise level. OWASP's primary goal is to raise awareness about the security risks that web applications face, and they achieve this by providing open standards, best practices, and educational resources to help developers create secure applications. The most notable project by OWASP is the OWASP Top 10, which we'll discuss in detail later. 2. Key OWASP Projects OWASP is home to several valuable projects, and today, I'll highlight a few that every developer should be aware of. 1. OWASP SAP Z Attack Proxy This is one of the most popular security testing tools. It's used to find vulnerabilities in web applications, especially during the development phase. ZAP provides automated scanners and a set of tools to help security professionals find vulnerabilities such as SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and more. 2. OWASP Dependency Check This tool identifies known vulnerabilities in your project's dependencies, which are libraries or frameworks that your software uses. Keeping track of known vulnerabilities in these components is crucial, and Dependency Check automates that process. 3. OWASP Security Knowledge Framework This is a comprehensive resource for learning how to integrate security throughout your software development lifecycle. It's a great starting point for new developers and a helpful refresher for seasoned pros. 3. OWASP Top 10 Now, let's talk about the OWASP Top 10, one of the most important projects by OWASP. It's a list of the top 10 most critical web application security risks that organizations face. The OWASP Top 10 is updated regularly to reflect the evolving landscape of security threats, and understanding these risks is crucial for developers and security professionals alike. Let's dive into the latest OWASP Top 10. 1. Injection Attacks Injection attacks occur when an attacker sends untrusted data as part of a command or query, which then gets executed by the application. A common example is SQL injection where malicious SQL commands are executed on the database. This can allow attackers to access or modify sensitive data. Preventing injection attacks involves using parameterized queries and stored procedures. 2. Broken Authentication This vulnerability arises when applications do not properly verify the identity of users. If authentication is not properly implemented, attackers can bypass authentication mechanisms and gain unauthorized access to the system. This can lead to account takeover or unauthorized actions. Best practices include implementing multi-factor authentication, MFA, and ensuring proper session management. 3. Sensitive Data Exposure Sensitive data such as credit card numbers, passwords, or personal information is often targeted by attackers. If this data is not properly encrypted or stored securely, it can be exposed during transmission or storage. Protect sensitive data by using strong encryption standards and ensuring that proper security controls are in place for data at rest and in transit. 4. XML External Entity, XXE, Processing XXE vulnerabilities occur when an XML parser processes XML input containing external entities. These entities can reference files or systems that the attacker does not have direct access to, potentially leading to information leakage or denial of service DOS, attacks. Mitigate this risk by disabling external entity processing in XML parsers and validating all XML input. 5. Broken Access Control Broken access control occurs when an application does not properly enforce user permissions or restrictions, 
allowing attackers to access data or perform actions they should not be authorized to do. This could result in unauthorized access to private data, administrative functions, or system resources. To prevent this, ensure proper access control mechanisms and consistently test permissions for each user role. 6. Security Misconfiguration Security misconfiguration happens when an application, server, database, or network is not securely configured. Default configurations, unnecessary services, and improper permissions can lead to vulnerabilities. Always follow secure configuration guidelines, disable unused features, and regularly review and update your configurations. 7. Cross-Site Scripting XSS XSS vulnerabilities allow attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. These scripts can steal session cookies, redirect users to malicious sites, or perform other harmful actions. To prevent XSS, developers should validate and sanitize all user inputs and implement proper content security policy, CSP, headers. 8. Insecure Deserialization Insecure deserialization occurs when untrusted data is deserialized and executed as part of an application process. This could lead to remote code execution or data tampering. Always validate and sanitize input data before deserialization and avoid deserializing data from untrusted sources. 9. Using components with known vulnerabilities Many web applications rely on third-party libraries or components. If these components contain known vulnerabilities and are not updated, attackers can exploit them. Ensure that all dependencies are up to date and regularly check for security advisories related to the components you are using. 10. Insufficient logging and monitoring Without proper logging and monitoring, it can be difficult to detect and respond to security incidents in a timely manner. Attackers can exploit this by covering their tracks, making it harder to identify and prevent attacks. To mitigate this risk, implement comprehensive logging, monitor suspicious activity, and set up automated alerts for potential security events. Each of these vulnerabilities can have devastating effects, but OWASP provides resources to help developers understand, mitigate, and avoid these issues. 4. Why OWASP is important So why is OWASP so important? The answer lies in the increasing sophistication of cyber attacks and the growing importance of web applications in our daily lives. As organizations rely more on digital services, they become prime targets for hackers. Without proper security measures, web applications can become entry points for attackers looking to steal sensitive data or disrupt operations. OWASP's contributions are invaluable because they Provide education and training on secure coding practices. Help developers identify vulnerabilities early in the development lifecycle. Offer free tools and guides that are accessible to everyone, regardless of their organization's budget. In fact, adopting OWASP's recommended security practices and tools is a smart strategy for any business looking to minimize security risks. 5. How to get involved with OWASP if you're passionate about improving application security, there are many ways to get involved with OWASP. 1. Contribute to projects. OWASP is a volunteer-driven organization, and contributions are always welcome. You can contribute code, documentation, or even share your expertise by speaking at OWASP events. 2. Attend OWASP meetups and conferences. OWASP hosts meetups and conferences worldwide where you can network with professionals in the field and learn from experts. 3. Become a chapter leader. If you're interested in taking your involvement to the next level, you can start or lead an OWASP chapter in your area, helping to build the community around application security. That wraps up our overview of OWASP and its importance in securing web applications. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on cybersecurity and tech. Also, drop your questions and thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Remember, security is everyone's responsibility, and using tools and practices from OWASP can make a huge difference in keeping your application safe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.